What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Monday with Bray. As you saw in the intro, we have a little Gibson action. Well, not quite. This is the Eastman SB55V. Check that. Well, the Mother Mary's in the way. Check that guy out. I don't know if you can see that glare, but we'll have some juicy B-roll so you can see that guy. Well, how did I end up with this guitar? It is a crazy story not necessarily but started with a guild surf liner if you've seen that video uh drop it down in the comments say i've seen that video um we had that and then i had a universal audio dream traded that to a rev g20 uh cool little amp uh pretty neat but i didn't necessarily need it because i have these two amps down here so traded it got the eastman in and uh, it's a it's a nice little guitar, so I thought we would talk about it today and just see what it's all about, if it's worth the money and all of that noise. So, let's check out the specs. The Eastman SB55V Antique Sunburst with Nitro Antique Varnish, and it features a Lawler 50-spec Dog Ear P90 pickup. So, we got a Gibson Les Paul Jr. style body um, with that single dog ear pickup. Super cool, super vibey, you know what I'm saying. It's a capless one-piece Okume mahogany solid body. It delivers a lightweight playing experience without sacrificing an ounce of tone. I will tell you straight up, this is one of the lightest guitars, if not the lightest guitar in my collection. Uh, my Novo Serres J is pretty light, um, but I think the Eastman takes it. Uh, I think that one of the Eastman standards or whatever is they don't send out a guitar over seven pounds, I think, or something like that. So um, super light. So they use this thinner varnish from their violin shop, which allows for a fuller, more wide open resonant sound that gives... Um, these instruments, a truly unique voice. So fit and finish in hand, this guitar feels really nice. Um, I don't see too many problems on it. It has a nice, tasteful, I would say, light to medium relic. I don't know um, what you guys would classify as light, but I think I think it's kind of light, light relic. Um, the neck feels really nice. Not too many complaints so far. The neck is a one-piece Okume mahogany as well. The fingerboard is an ebony fingerboard. We have a 12-inch radius. We have a 24 and three-quarter inch scale length. We got aged antique nickel hardware on this guy. We got a Faber wraparound bridge faber with um oval knob tuners we have gold speed knobs on there and then pickup wise we have that bridge lawler 50 spec a dog ear p90 like we said um, we have 0.022 sprague orange drop caps in there and then we have cts 500k no load on the tone pots baby it comes with a hard shell case. So I'm not gonna lie, this has been really fun to have around the bedroom the past few days. Um, it's kind of an inspiring instrument. I um, love single pickup guitars, unlike my friend D Duncan, shout out, what up D? Um, this guy is just really in my wheelhouse. Two knobs, one pickup, super simple. Um, I think you can get, I like to play a lot of the bridge pickup tones on guitars anyway. So um, this is really nice. And if I think that's a too bright or a little bitey or whatever, you just take that tone knob and just roll it back a little bit. All right, so enough talk. I think we should play the dang thing. And today we're keeping it simple. I just got the Eastman, and then we're going straight into the HX Stop XL um, into a Walrus Canvas Mono, and then straight into the recorder. All the tones you're hearing are going to be from that HX Stomp. We're using a deluxe style amp, have a little bit of plate reverb on there, maybe a delay or two. And then the overdrive sound is the 808 Screamer in the HX Stomp XL. So let's go ahead and check that out. <laughs>
All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the Gibbs. I mean, the the Eastman. My bad. If you guys want to check one of these out for yourselves, go ahead and head down to the description and uh, click that link. It'll take you directly to the Chicago Music Exchange website where you can find all the information about it. Please follow us on Instagram. Check out our merch. And if you're feeling like you want to stick around, please subscribe and hit that like button. And uh, I think that's about it, honestly. So I have been Brayden. This has been the Eastman SB55V. And you just watched Monday with Bray. We will see you next week. Peace. Um, you guys can check this out for yourself. Link in bio. Um, frick.